All right, here we go. We finished our strips. As you can see, the pattern is repeated from the center. Doesn't that look great? All right, we've put the contrast, the light and the darks. So now our next step is we're going to trim it so we can get ready to put on our binding. Now the first thing we'll need to do is to spray this one down so it is secure as well. So we'll get this straightened down really flat. So it's right where we want it. And then let's go ahead and spray them. It's, it's pretty important that you get it, um, this one needs to be down pretty secure because you're going to be moving it around and working with it as you trim it and as you bind it. Um, so this is a great way to keep it all intact. This method actually works really well on other quilts that you're working on if you're tying them or if you're machine quilting so that you can keep everything down stable. Um, I think this is a great way to baste. So as you can see, I can lift that back up and get it really straight. Sometimes if you get too aggressive, you can pull it too hard right here, and then you get a, kind of get a lump. So you want to make sure you've got it all just really flat and straight. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to trim it. These strips were cut originally five inches, and so I like to trim them, just a good base is I trim them to four and a half inches. If we're taking a, about a three-eighths to a half inch seam allowance, that's just exactly what you should have, is about a four and a half inch edge. And that should be about what these are too, so um, I like to just straighten it with that. So that the things are good. Make sure you've got a ruler that has good definite lines. It certainly does make a difference. So you can see this, and I'm really not trimming a lot of the fabric off as much as I am just the, the batting. We're going to go clear across here, and then we'll go around the corners. Straight and I don't know how Grandma used to make a quilt without a rotary cutter. That seems to have been our, that's one of those modern quilting conveniences that we could do with that. All right, so there that one is all straight. Now to trim the sides, I usually turn it over and use the selvage edge as my guide. Now you remember that we trimmed the batting off when we started. And you can see that I've got little extras. Some of the strips are a little stretchier than others, and some of them are actually a little bit wider than others. They're not all exact, 60 inches. And one thing about sewing with Minky, you need to understand this is not rocket science. It's not like sewing quarter inch seams like you would on a pieced uh, trip quilt or something that's got to be absolutely accurate. The Minky is a little bit stretchy and because it is so soft and cuddly and pliable, it's really hard to get it just that accurate. It's very forgiving. If, it's, if things aren't just exactly, it's okay. It's going to be a really nice quilt and it's going to be you're not going to see some of those little flaws. So I like to take off about a quarter of an inch of the seam allowance. I don't like it to show, and, and I'm going to catch part of that in my binding. So I usually take off at least that much. You can take off more if you choose, um, but you know, whatever you'd like to do. But that's usually what I do, and then I, and I can see that I've cut See, all the edges, all my seams are, and my strips are all caught right there. So that's pretty straight. All 
All right, there we go. And you can see we've got all of it's just clear and cut, and all the edges are even. Isn't that just a pretty quilt? <laughs>